guys, so to which I know you here and today we are back with another video guys and guys in this video I'm gonna be ranking every single jailbreak vehicle in the game. Now as you guys know jailbreak um jailbreak had an update and this vehicle, the blade, got removed and replaced by the drone and the Porsche got replaced by the boxer convertible. So we're gonna be placing these in the tier in memory of the once gods anyway let's get on with the video so guys starting off we have this boomer car as i like to call it or the vintage car i mean it's not the fastest of vehicles but it is it is a good um vehicle getaway for the museum but its speed is not that good and it's 50k so I'm going to put this in the okay section it's not really good it's not really bad but it's pretty yeah, it's not that good you know what let's put it in the meh no, never mind keep it in the okay next we have this arachnid now it looks cool I have not used this ever but it looks pretty cool and um, based on what I've seen in YouTube videos, it's pretty okay. So I'm gonna put this in the good, good section because it's good. It's okay. Next we have the McLaren, and new players will not know or care about this McLaren because McLaren is one of the worst vehicles in the game, and it should go in the trash forever. It's heavily overpriced and it's barely fast. It's it's 300k and it's barely faster than a Model 3, which is 16k. Hopefully that's enough for you guys to understand how bad McLaren is. So get that out of there. Next we have the UFO. Man, oh man, UFO. UFO. Almost as slow, almost at default heli speed. It's so hard to get to because you need a gate guard and you need police clothes. And then, yeah, it's not that good. I'm, I'm going to put this in the meh. It's still okay. No, this is trash. UFO is trash. It is worse than the McLaren. It's 500k. And it's barely faster than the default heli over here. It's not good. So do not buy this. Next we have Bugatti, man. Chiron is going up here in the amazing. It's, just get it. It's 500k. It's super fast. It almost beats the molten. I mean, it's faster than the molten in top speed. But it gets beaten by the molten in acceleration. But it's a good vehicle. And it's stylish. Next, we got Roadster. Oh, man. God tier. Roadster is God tier. Fast ac acceleration in the game. F sleekest model. Amazing design. So easy to get to. Man, Roadster is one of the best vehicles in the game. Its acceleration is literally unparalleled. Literally. Now we have the old Bugatti. Now I've never used the old Bugatti ever. Mainly because when there's a Arachnid and old Bugatti and Torpedo were around. I did not even know that a game called Jailbreak existed. I never knew about the... Uh, the what is this called? I don't know what this is called. I know this is the R8. Is this is some kind of truck? I don't know what the name of this truck is, but it's the name of a truck, and I don't know what it is. I do have never experienced Dorit, this truck thing, then the um the Arachnid, the Torpedo, or the old Bugatti. Mainly because I did not know that Jobic existed at that time, or even the Mustang or in the Mini Cooper. Where's that Mini Cooper? There we go, Mini Cooper. Yeah, these are the vehicles I've never. Um, experienced in game so I'm just going for these vehicles I'm gonna go based on what I see in YouTube videos so that's not the most accurate thing but it's good enough so old Bugatti where do I put you 
back in the day when jailbreak was um dominating more than adopt me and creek actually used to play jailbreak no offense to you creek craft well this bugatti was amazing it was literally the fastest vehicle in the game before the volt bike of course and all that stuff but it was a pretty good king of vehicles so since it's still used but it's unparalleled to the new vehicles we've been getting i'm gonna put this in the good section it deserves a good okay now we got the jet jet one of the very hardest vehicles to even control even though i've not used it but i have a pretty good idea of what it does one of the hardest vehicles to control stunt jet is still good because it's slower and you can you can control it easier but well, this thing it's not good you need to get into the it's the same thing as the ufo it's not good for its price and then it's so hard to get to even in the military base but without a key card and without that key card and because of its okay speed i'm gonna put it in the mess section but it's still bad mini cooper oh this guy's okay mini cooper is again a vehicle i've never seen before but going by what the i know about it from youtube videos uh, it's a pretty good acceleration for 25k and decent it's all it's honestly like um the older version of a tesla model 3 so it's pretty good next we have lamborghini you know this guy is god tier dog lamborghini is god tier it's super fast for a hundred k it beats the drone a drone the new vehicle that's come out the drone it beats it so and it's stylish and it spawns in so many different locations like the volcano base um the bank then where else do we have the lamborghini those are the two places that spawns, but those are two of the most crowded areas in the game. Please leave it in the comments if you disagree. But still, I like the Lamborghini. It has saved me so many times. You, you don't even know. Okay, next we have the pickup truck. Now, pickup truck sucks. It's 9,000. And it's basically a paid Camaro. It's as it's somewhat slower than the bra car and rocket fuel just makes it fly into oblivion. You could just save up a little bit more money for 16k and then you buy a much better vehicle which is the Model 3. So do not bother with the pickup truck. Only buy the pickup truck if you're rich or if you're dumb like me. I bought the pickup truck when I was starting out jailbreak and I completely regret that. But it's still okay. I mean, it has saved me like twice. But still, it's not a good vehicle. Okay, next we have the ambulance. Okay, now the ambulance, um, I don't know. It's, it's amazing for its healing qualities. And you can just spawn it anywhere and just heal up in a battle and but it's it's not that fast and it only spawns in one area if you do not have mobile garage so since you need to have mobile garage to unlock this thing's full potential it's kind of like a pay to win thing so for that i'll put it in the good category but yeah i mean it's it's really good i do use it quite a lot but yeah it's not that great next we have the leah made for leah who has over one billion cash in jailbreak i've never seen this i am nowhere close to getting a billion cash i can barely save up a mil and she's over there getting one billion cash whoa anyway 
it looks cool. It's very big. I mean, it's probably going to be very easy to get ejected from it. And then also you have the fact that it's basically a blade, but bigger and a little bit slower. So for that, I'm going to put it in the good category. It's not just, just not the best. Next, we have Ferrari. Now, Ferrari is amazing. It spawns in one of the most convenient areas, which is the passenger, I mean, the passenger train, train station next to the volcano base. And man, that it has saved me so many times. Ferrari is a more, it's a little bit faster than the Lamborghini, 100k more than the Lamborghini, but it's a very good getaway vehicle, and it's stylish. So with that, it's going in the amazing category. Next, we have the fire truck. Now, this is going in the meh. Don't bother with it too much. It's not a good vehicle. It's very slow. It's very big, which is makes it you're you're basically an elephant. Yeah, that's what you are. You're, you're if you get in this vehicle, just like that. If this is your grinding vehicle, then police can look at you like an elephant. Cause it's big, it's slow, and the only good thing about it is role playing and putting out fires. But hey, who has the time to put out fires when you can pre you control people by getting them in the freaking gas station and then trap them with the water hose? It's not good. Therefore, it goes in the mech category, and it's one seventy five k. That's not good. So you do not want to cut get this. You can only get this and everything on this list only if you have spare cash well you cannot get mclaren anymore it's removed but anything else that i put in the meh or the trash category you can only get it if you have spare cash not if you don't you should not target for things like this you should only target when you're complete pro at the game and you've got everything, everything else except these. That's the only way you can target these vehicles. Otherwise, don't. Just avoid these vehicles as much as you can. Then we have Army Heli, man. God tier for sure. Army Heli is, um, I mean, before the Blades, which is this boy over here, Army Heli was actually the fastest air vehicle in the game and i think it still is i don't know how fast the drone is because i've not been playing roblox recently i've been more into among us but man oh man is army heli good and it's also very good for rescuing criminals since there are like i don't know eight seats something like that and they can shoot missiles, and it's big, it's glorious, and it's fast, and then it can do the wiggle, 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 if you do the passenger seat. And all in all, it's a very good vehicle. That's why Army Heli deserves to go into the God tier list. Next, we have the Sloop, which is also known as the Pirate Ship. Now this, this you don't even bother. This is slower than your walking speed it's a one million dollar ship it spawns in the most random location ever it is slower than your walking speed without sprint and it's so big that it is so easy to get stuck this I'm, I'm making a separate row um add a row below there we go Gene okay some <laughs> rams going on too much do not get the sloop no matter what you do if you want to be moving slower than your walking speed if you want to get stuck every 10 seconds and if you want to be a ginormous elephant and if you also want to be trash at the game then you can buy the sloop if you do not want to be those four things i just said you do not even go near the sloop do you understand good i hope you do next we have the dirt bike 
Rocket fuel does not work on it. Rams don't work on it. It's pretty slow for 35k. This is going in the meh category. Wait, this this is going in the meh category. It's not a very good vehicle. It is good for maneuvering and traveling or something like that, but all in all, it's not a good vehicle. Next, we have the dune buggy. This thing, it beats a freaking blade and volt bike in terms of speed, but it's so uncontrollable, you can barely move. Not to mention it's so slippery. So just for the in crazy speed, I'm going to put this in okay. But don't you think for a second that buying this is okay. I don't want to be mean, but it's not the best vehicle in the game. Next, we have... Oh my, we, we, I think we've made it halfway through the list. Man, oh man, there are so many vehicles in this game. Anyway, now we have the Jeep. Well, the Jeep. A free vehicle. It's very fast. This is amazing. It's it although you need to get into the military base with police clothes. All you need to do for police clothes is just get a helicopter, fly to the city police base, and just drop down the little ladder shoot thingy and grab some clothes and boom, you're done. And you can get this ve vehicle. And it's so good. This vehicle is very fast. For free. Free. This goes in amazing. This deserves an amazing. Next we have Brocar. Meh for life. It's not trash since it spawns literally everywhere in the map. It's there at the prison. It's there at the criminal base. Both criminal bases. It's pretty good. And it's a good getaway vehicle if you do not have mobile garage. Or if you do not have a friend to come pick you up. It's a pretty good getaway vehicle. It is not. It is pretty slow. But it's not like walking speed slow on like Sloopy over here. It's not as slow as your walking speed on like the Sloop. But it's pretty slow. But all in all it's a good vehicle. Let's bump this up to okay. And that's still me. Just kidding, it's okay. Next, we got Broca 2.0, also known as the Challenger. Challenger spawns only at the power plant. Is like 45k, something like that. 70k, something around 70k, I forgot. And it's not very good of a vehicle. I mean, this is good. It's a good vehicle if you have nothing to rob power plant with. Or if you need a quick escape from the power plant. That's a good vehicle, but all you should not use this too much. Because it's not that good. Next, we have Buzzard. Buzzard is god tier. Buzzard, one of the easiest uh, helicopters to use in a cargo ship robbery mean which mean because it's smaller and it's faster than a brocopter and man oh man it's his design is just epic i would definitely re recommend buying the buzzer and it's only 90k i mean not 90k 190k anyway it's a very good vehicle next blade if this was the real blade this would go above God tier, cause it's just such a good vehicle. It's it's the literal fastest vehicle in the game. But since Blade is no more and this is a drone, we are going to be placing the drone, I mean the blade, like the drone, and the drone is gonna go here. Drone is slower than a Lamborghini. I just said it. Drone is slower than Lamborghini, only spawns in the one mil place, and it's a million. So, just for that, I'm not going it above to the god tier, because it's not god tier. You cannot have a one million dollar vehicle be slower than a hundred thousand dollar vehicle. It just doesn't happen. It doesn't. Next, Mustang. Literal trash. I mean... It's good, 
kind it it was good. I haven't seen this in game, but going by the videos, I mean it's pretty good to escape the um escape from the gun store. I mean it was, but it was just very slow and just uncontrollable. For that, it's a meh. Otherwise, it's an okay. Next, we have the Ray, the classic. I don't know what. James Bond kind of thing. <laughs> James Bond kind of vehicle. It is very good. It's 25k. It is pretty slow, but its handling is very good and the speed is decent. So I would say this goes in okay. Next we have the jet ski. Man oh man is the jet ski fun. Jet ski goes in amazing. Jet ski is very fun to use on the water, can go literally anywhere, and if you do the glitch properly, it can even go on land and you can do like um, three backflips together in the air on land, if you do the glitch properly, and it actually works. So this, it's a good vehicle. You should buy this, but only if you want to have fun and you're bored. Okay, next we have the stunt plane. Now the stunt plane... It's 200k, but it's very slow, but it's much more controllable than the jet, but has the same controls like the jet. So for that, I'm going to put it on OK. It's not worse than the jet, but it has better controlling, and it leaves a smoke trail in which if you have the patience, you can write subscribe to Poke Panda. Which you should do. You should definitely subscribe to me. You should definitely like the video. And you should definitely join the Roblox group. Link in the description below. Good. Next we have Patrol Bike. Patrol Bike is... V it's it's good. I mean, why did I check... Why, why did I take Jeep? Bro. Bro. What did I do? Patrol bike, good. Oh, <laughs> I messed up the tier list, but it's back now. Patrol bike, ah, stop it. Patrol bike goes in good. It's much faster than the dirt bike. It's much more controllable, and it's much more good. So, and it's only 10K more. 10K is what? Two bank robberies, maybe a donut store, that's it. Or maybe just a jewelry store and a donut store and gas station. And if you really needed an airdrop briefcase, done. Go get it. So, Pedro Bike definitely deserves to go in good. Next, we have the Cyber Truck. One of the most requested vehicles in the game, one of the fastest vehicles in the game, and one of the cheapest vehicles in the game. Therefore, this goes in amazing. You know why this goes in amazing. It's fast, it spawns in a very good location, it is a very good and fast vehicle, and it's one of the best vehicles to use to get onto the freaking passenger train. Ah! Okay, monster truck. This is okay. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's okay. Ah, what's happening? Okay, bro, we'll buy good over here. We'll buy. Okay, good. Monster truck. It can go over literally any type of terrain. It's easily customizable. It looks very good with those money rims. But it's not as fast and it's a million dollars. So it's not good but it's not terrible. So I'd say it's okay. Next we have Torpedo. God tier. The highest top speed currently in Jailbreak. One of the very the one of the best designs in the game ever next to Roadster of course. Roadster is the best. Torpedo is just like one hundred and fifty K more than a Roadster. Of course it's unobtainable now since it's it was a season vehicle and you can't get it anymore. It's still one of the best vehicles in the game. If you have it. So this is God tier. Next we have the Crozer. Trash. Don't. Okay, it's meh since it's this year it's your option of escaping Alcatraz. You either swim 
or you use the cruiser. Now, if you try to turn with this cruiser, you end up going 180, 360. You cannot turn properly with the cruiser, and it's pretty slow. So I would not say that you use the cruiser. Anyway, moving on, Surus. Surus, one of the good vehicles. It spawns in almost ev ev it spawns in every single police base except the power plant one and it's it's only a hundred K and it's decently fast. So I would say this is amazing because it's it looks good, it feels good and it is good. Deja. Only if you want to have fun and mess around. It's this is somewhat slower than a bro car. Definitely faster than Sloop. You are a very bad vehicle, Sloop. This is drifts very well, I should say. It has that um, smoky effect. And it's a pretty low profile vehicle. But it's pretty easy to get busted in. So that's why this goes in the meh category. Next we have the classic SUV. The SUV got removed with the McLaren, but while it was there, I observed this a lot, and this is actually a pretty decent vehicle, not gonna lie. This was only 80k, I presume? Yeah, only 80k, I was very fast for 80k. This goes in the OK category. Next, we have Molten. Molten goes up here, dude. Molten. It has literally the best design. I'm sorry, Roadster, but that Molten has the best design of any vehicle I've ever seen in Jailbreak or heard of. That is a very fast accelerating vehicle. It's very controllable. It's only 599k, but it's amazing for that much. Then we have this. This is goes in the meh category. It's pay to win. You need 300 Robux for it. It's the Crime Boss Wraith. You need 300 Robux to buy the Crime Boss Game Pass. And this is basically trash. It's, it's very slow for 300 robux and the minigun is near useless it only does four damage per hit and it's not good next we have vote bike vote bike goes up here all the time dude vote bike one million but it can if if you do it with the glitch it's op you can go 180 degrees in a good way you can do 360 you can jump up into the air you can jump on mountains it's one of the best vehicles in the game I should definitely suggest you buy the Molten. I mean, the Volt Bike. You should buy Molten, but it's gone now. It was a limited time vehicle. I have it, but it's gone. And you should definitely buy the Volt Bike. Next, we have Porsche, but we're placing this as the Boxer Convertible. Now, the Boxer Convertible, I've never, I've not seen it. As, as I told you, I've not been playing Roblox much. So, I would say, based on what I see on YouTube videos, it's a meh. Where do I put it? Where's the meh? Okay, this here it is. This is a meh. It's boxer was not that fast. It's six fifty k. It's sixty five k, and it's honestly not the best vehicle in the game. It's just not good. Next we have default helicopter. Now the default helicopter is default. It's free. Okay. So definitely it cannot be that good, but it is very convenient. So for its conveniency, I'm going to put this in the good category. It's just, it's okay to say the least. Then we have ATV. ATV not good. ATV not good. It is in the mess. It's in the mess section. I mean, just honestly, it's 50k and it spawns in only one location and it's super uncontrollable. It's not good for handling and it's pretty fast. slow. I was gonna say slow. Next, we have sw um, sw uh, SWAT vehicle. Equally meh. It's slower than this, but its minigun does a little bit more damage and it's more stocky. 
So, I'm equally paid away with 300 Robux who needs walking pass. Not good. Next of the R right now. When this thing was there, man. When this thing was around, it was one of the best things that could ever happen to Jailbreak. I mean, seriously. It was amazing. I have not used it personally, but I think it's very good. Next, we have this pickup truck thing. Pickup truck thing. This goes in the good category. It's not like R8, but it definitely deserves a good. And this thing. This comes with a shock, but this goes God tier. 16k, and it's so fast. It beats so many vehicles in the game. And it's just 16k. Asimo and Bad CC both are Tesla fanboy for life. So that naturally the Tesla vehicles are obviously one of the best vehicles in the game. Cybertruck, so good. Tesla, so good. Roadster, fastest accelerating vehicle in the game. So it does make sense. Anyway, this is my final list. Please do tell me if you disagree with this in the comments, but don't be too mean because, as you guys know, this is just my opinion. I'm not telling you guys what to think. You guys think whatever you want to think. Anyway, let's just admire this beauty and let's subscribe to this video like the video subscribe to the channel uh -huh. you like the video please like the video please and also please subscribe and also join the roblox group link in the description below follow my roblox account link in the description below and yeah enjoy the rest of your day